Why did I just double 100 meters? Well, there's a method to the madness. How about some rapid fire with a Martini Henry? The Martini Henry was the first purpose-designed breech loader adopted by the British Army, and it benefited from an extremely simple-to-use mechanism. Rounds could be loaded and fired with remarkable speed, hitherto unknown on the battlefield, by military single-shot breech loaders. Perhaps surprisingly, the notion of rapid fire would not enter into official army lexicon until the adoption of the magazine rifle, with its eight-round magazine in 1888. That said, one might differentiate rates of fire in contemporary texts by the terms volley fire and independent fire. In these techniques lay the exercise of fire control, volley firing being completely controlled, while independent fire much less so. As we shall see, when permitted to employ independent or perhaps individual fire, the soldier and his martini could develop an enormous amount of firepower. The purpose of the demonstration at the beginning of the video was to show how long a charge of a 110 yards would take. The distance was covered in approximately 20 seconds. And this will become quite relevant as we explore the rates of fire of the Martini Henry. The first experiment was firing from the expense pouch. It must be understood that this would have been the most common way to engage the enemy. Ammunition was kept handy, but on the man, in case he had to move. This practice consisted of 10 rounds for time. The target was set at 110 yards and was 18 inches across. The distance is important, as not only is it the same distance as covered in the earlier advance, but also approximates a charge delivered by an assaulting unit after closing from much greater a distance. As you can see, in firing from the pouch, 10 rounds were fired in one minute. The second experiment was shooting with a supply of ammunition conveniently placed beside the firer. Obviously only applicable in certain circumstances whereby the soldier did not intend to move. As we shall see, this static disposition enabled a greater rate of fire to be developed. We can safely assume that this static location and the place for the ammunition would have been on a parapet the top of a wall, or may I even suggest resting atop a mealy bag. same number of rounds fired in just 42 seconds, there was a 40% increase in firepower. Now this rate of fire could not be sustained for a very long period of time, 
but when we apply it to that last 100 yards of an enemy's assault, it stands to reason that this technique could have and would have been applied. The enemy took 20 seconds to cover that last 110 yards of his assault. In that same time, we can deliver five rounds when the ammunition is at hand. It's important to note that this experiment was intended to demonstrate the rates of fire of the Martini and should not be placed completely in the context of repelling an enemy assault. Many factors were not taken into account, such as friendly casualties, incoming fire, or other battlefield stresses. The position used was perhaps the most advantageous, and rates would be lower and accuracy would suffer if conducted from either the kneeling or the standing position perhaps the subject of a future video. Crossing the final 100 yards to get to grips with the enemy has always been the lot of the infantry. When faced with the Mardini Henry and plenty of ammunition, this task would have been very difficult indeed. Well, something that I wasn't expecting coming up to this target, but it kind of pissed me off because I like to reuse them. It speaks to the power of the Martini Henry round though. Punch the bloody thing full of holes.